Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're starting a new game tonight. This is Outer Wilds. It was recommended to me by Tormod. Thank you, Tormod. Um, I know next to nothing about this, which is good. Which is good. I was told to go on uh, as fresh as I possibly could, and there's nothing fresher than never having played it before. I haven't even seen much media related to this either. Um, and that's not a knock against Outer Wilds marketing or advertising or whatever. Um, I just never never played it. So, uh, okay. Uh, I think I dialed in the audio as, as best as we're going to get it, uh, as this is the first session. Give a shout if it's not good or whatever. And I'll fix it as best I can, but all right. New expedition, I guess. Let's, let's get started. Let's see what we got. Oh, just uh, X to wake up, huh? If only it were that easy. <laughs> Okay, we wait. Oh, wait, we get control immediately. It doesn't do like a little stand up for you or whatever. Okay. Oh, all right. Um, uh, the opening screen told me that gamepad was recommended, but generally for first person games, I like my keyboard and mouse, but we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. All right, uh, quick, quick controls check here. Obviously, look around, move around. Okay, uh, X is nothing so far. Oh, whoa. Why is a, a telescope and or radio receiver, I guess? Okay. Um, B is nothing. Right trigger, nothing. Left trigger, nothing. Left bumper, nothing. Right bumper, nothing. Well, maybe nothing in context right now. Um, nothing on select. Start is obviously menu. Nothing on D-pad. Oh, we've got a flashlight on the right stick. Click. And nothing on left stick. Click. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Hey, game over. How you doing? Good to see you. All right. Well, let's let's have a look around here. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh, we could roast a marshmallow or doze off. Well, we just woke up, so I'm guessing we don't want to doze off. But let's roast a marshmallow. That sounds tasty. Okay. So you can move move the stick, extend the stick. All right. Roast it without lighting it on fire, right? Although usually you don't put it at the top of the flame, right? You want to put it like kind of down there by the coals. To get it nice and nice and golden brown, without turning it into a carbonized sugar. Ooh, that looks pretty good. I guess. Let's eat it. Mm, 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 mm. That was good. Okay. Well, usually one marshmallow is pretty good. Anything more than that gets too sweet. Uh, but hey, let's let's talk to. Okay, let's talk to Slate. There's a pilot back here. Pre-launch camp out under the stars. I see. Yeah, I was just laying like a m two meters from you, buddy. Um, yeah, we're, we're back from our camp out. It's launch day. It was only yesterday. Join the space program. Suddenly here you are, leaving in your first solo voyage. Okay. Um, uh, so ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. Um, <laughs> you're sure you fixed the retro rockets? Only a, it was only a problem one time, then maybe a few times after that. But hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? I guess. Sure. You need to get the launch codes from Hornfills at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Okay, um, anything else? Um, uh, how's the ship looking? Hey, you might get a kick out of this. Repurpose a spare oxygen tank to be used as an extra combustion chamber. Uh, what does that do? <clears throat> All very conceptual, basically it's like taking a regular second stage booster and strapping a bigger rocket onto it. Isn't that great? Yeah, I mean, bigger rockets more better, right? Um, how safe is it? Perfect 10, unless you're factoring in pilot error, in which case it's about a four. What? You're saying we count for negative six? Oh, that's fucking cold, man. That's cold. Um, what's my mission? Hey, pilot, you tell me. Aren't you pilot types all eager to get up there and explore? I mean, sure. That sounds pretty fun. Other than that, if you go to the moon or Brimble Hollow or just the other side of Timber Hearth, it's all the same to me. Get out there and have some fun. Alright, just don't hurt the ship. That's all I ask. Gee, thanks. Your concern for my well-being is just overwhelming this late. Um, what else should I do before liftoff? Uh, saying any goodbyes, in front of Hal's in the observatory waiting to see me off, okay. And then they have the zero-g chamber set up if you want a refresher on making ship repairs in space. Huh, that would probably be good to know. Okay. Oh, wow. That's either a very dim sun or the brightest, biggest moon I've ever seen. Um, probably a sun, considering the harsh uh, shadows it's casting, but okay. Alright, uh... Okay, well... Let's have a look see around here. Hold, hold, jump and release. Or jump, hold A and release. Okay. 
Okay, that's interesting. Is there fall damage? Let's see if there's fall damage. Science! Oh, well. If there is, it's not from that high up. Okay, let's see. Let's have a look around. Oh, got a platform. Oh, hello. Micah. Hey, it's me. I guess it's me. Sure. Thank you for lasting off your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Are you guys gonna go into space, aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. I'm not change my mind. I'm just looking around. Um, you can slave beefed up the model ship. Can I see it? Uh, the controls installed better thrusters. Want to give it a chest try? Since so it'll be just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. I uh, try to land on one of the geyser pools. Okay. Uh, sure. Practice seems good. Uh, alright. Horizontal thrust. Up thrust, down thrust. Oh god, it's lunar lander. Uh, okay. Up thrust. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, there we go. Oh, it's much more forgiving than lunar lander. My goodness. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> wow, that gets you into a... Oh. <laughs> oh, that takes a tumble really quick. Alright, reset. <laughs> Let's try that again. Uh, there we go. Alright, easy does it. Easy does it. Um... There we go. Landed in one of the geysers. Professional. Uh-oh. Uh, uh. It's coming at us at a fantastic rate of speed. Whoa, jeez. Wow. That's built strong if it can take a tumble like that and be fine. Alright, yeah, that's that's enough, uh... That's enough practice, I guess. We did fine. It's like the time the external fuel tanks exploded on re-entry. Oh, goody. Okay flying the big one, right? Yeah, sh sh Sure! I mean, there's only one way to find out. Okay. Alright, so what else is around here? Porphy! Okay. Uh, hey -oh. I hear you're leaving this, us to seek adventure amongst the stars. You guys open a bottle of the good stuff. Seeking adventure amongst one star, other stars are too far away. Good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. That's an insult. I like it. <laughs> Iron stomach is the mark of a true Harthian, my friend. Okay. Let her gather lifestyle stems from trial and error, by which I mean our ancestors survived eating a lot of bad shit. Okay. You know what? That's fair. That's fair enough, I suppose. Talk to Rutile. Okay. Actually blasting off in that thing, huh? Uh. Odds of survival are statistically quite high. <laughs> All right, we caused fewer flash fires than our predecessors, apparently. Good luck with those retro rockets. Hey, I mean, uh, Slate told me he fixed them, so, you know, I trust him. Satellite camera? Ooh. This guy, our satellite is currently orbiting Timber Hearth. Satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras, see so if you can take a snapshot of our village. All right. I mean, literally PowerPoint mode, I guess, huh? Where'd it? Where even is it? Is that it up there? Did we miss the flyover? Oh, there it is. Okay, there's the observatory, I guess. Eh, close enough. <laughs> close enough. Um, okay. Read this. All that remains of our inaugural flight into space. Well, the chair survived. Okay. It's a very strongly built chair. Any such a distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight. <laughs> very good. Alright, what else we got around here? I imagine the more exciting stuff is when we actually launch, but... Good to get some background info, too, right? Uh, okay. Can we swim? Ah, oh, it's too shallow to swim. Can we go indoors? Nope. Shit's locked. Door's locked. Can't go indoors. 
Oh, there's the observatory. Okay, good. We need to go to the observatory anyways to get launch codes, right? Talk to nice. Nice. <laughs> this place get out of here leaving the crater today. You know any of the other travelers up there and I need to take proper care of their instruments, don't you? Uh tell me about them. No, I just really you know, there's Church's drums, Rebecca's banjo, Gabro's flute. What do I get? Feldspar's harmonica. Well, he's been missing for a long time. Really seriously playing. Okay. Can music in space? That'll be one of the space program's other travelers. If you like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Oh, cough. I imagine that's the weird uh, telescope looking thing we had. There we go. Oh, well, yeah, there we go. Zoom in. Alright, sure that'll be useful later. Okay. Nice little village going on here. I like it. A uh, Tefra. Uh, my, my favorite troublemaker, I guess. I guess Tefra's a troublemaker. On a plan, seeing rain on last bar, their signal scope is really delicate. Not supposed to be thrown around like that. Can we use your signal scope? Can we? Please, we'll even let you be it. Uh, no, I gotta go into space. Sorry. Um, what's with the radio, though? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, no, sorry. And Galena. I'm, I'm, I'm detecting a pattern. A lot of these names are, are after rocks and stuff here. Not a talker. Okay, I can appreciate that. Spinel. Ha ha. Fishing rhyme singing helps me pass the time. The crater gets to all be a little busier without you around to lend a hand, I guess. <clears throat> Big water planet. Giant steep. That's right. Why is that? It's just the two of us sitting around the campfire. Gabriel told me about their first trip to Giant Steep. Ship easily enough in the waves. We couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was. We could see what lay beneath the surface. They decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down. Then he couldn't go any further. Uh, yeah? Why not? It's just pausing dramatically, I think. And the water is refusing to let Gabriel go down any deeper. Held him back. This is we were trying to protect him from something. In the terrible darkness, the camera saw it. The tentacle of some hideous beast. Uh. Is that true? Gavin himself. Gavin would be a little fanciful, sure. They aren't a liar. I mean, probably, anyway. I don't know if this story's entirely true. You can go see Giant Steep for yourself. Okay. Hey, maybe we will. Maybe we will. Okay, the Zero G cave as well. In the observatory. Good. Both places I want to hit before we launch off into the unknown. What was that? Oop. That's right. X to read. A to jump. Inside a sense is a pocket of ghost matter. A strange and dangerous substance invisible to naked eye. It is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain if you hurt yourself moving around. Okay. Uniquely painful, you say. Ah, uh, but we don't have a camera, do we? Not yet, anyways. Alright. Arcase, what's up? Hatch ghost matter sizes used to be bigger than they were hatchlings. Ghost matter evaporates. Just, just takes a super long time. Yeah, okay. There's still ghost matter in the village of Underground. Ghost matter is awesome. Um, uh, super cool. Burn the heck out of you. Hurts so bad, feels like your whole hand's on fire. Try not to walk into any in space, okay? Sounds bad and painful. Good advice. You know, I'm tempted just to jump in there right away, but... Uh, maybe we won't do that. Oh, hey, camera. There we go. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's a big old bright spot there. Huh. Okay. Uh, zero G key. Here, perfect. Uh, what, what do we got? Uh, flight coach for your launch. We got zero G training. All right, yes. I would like some zero G training. Um, there's getting the better view. I mean, yeah, I'll be honest. I'm a little nervous. Sure. I really should be a bit nervous going into space. I got cocky during my first flight and nearly put a new crater in the moon. Never as green as you. Uh, not what Slate says. <laughs> you better not believe a word that the lunatic says about me. I'm still sorry I'm going to install a safety harness in the cockpit. 
think it would throw off the thrust to weight ratio. I mean, safety is important, especially if you're going to space today. Uh, one of these days, it throws off Slate's thrust to weight ratio. Sick. All right. Uh, listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment set up down in the zero-g cave and need repairs. If we're in the last minute of zero-g practice, head down in the lift in the cave, or don't, so long as you're confident you can make ship repairs in space. Uh, okay, yeah. I mean, I guess it would be good to know how to do ship repairs in space. Uh, try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. Gee, thanks. Such touching concern for us there. Ooh. It's going down quite deep. Hmm. Ah, right. Let's use our flashlight. Okay. Some crates, some barrels. Ah, there we go. Alright. And, uh, I guess Zero G Cave is above. Alright, suit up. All right, there we go. Up we go. Whee! I mean, if it was really zero G, we'd just need a a quick patch of thrust, and then we'd be good. We'd be floating up forever. All right, talk to tough. I need to drop down. I'm getting some zero G time in today. Going in there in the cave. Hmm. What? No, I'm fine. Great, great, and fine. Uh. I'm gonna go drift around down there for a while. It's going to float upside down and whatnot. <laughs> you know, just ricochet off the wall, spin around a lot, that kind of thing. All right, sorry, sorry, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I mean, if you get vertigo just uh, hearing about it, um, that's no good. Oh, oh, careful. Back up, back up, uh, up thrust, there we go. Uh, boop, 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 uh, what's down thrust? LT, there we go. Oh boy, this is gonna take some getting used to. Alright, oh, bonk. Uh, 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 uh. I am pressing L. L stick. What's what's it supposedly locking onto? Ah, I see. So we just need to really just really just need to keep close to it. Oh 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 oh. Uh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, I good thing we don't get vertigo easily. Playing plenty of six DOS, so I know how this goes, more or less. Although this movement is very touchy. Uh, down thrust. There we go. Oh, okay. I guess the, the trick is to be uh, have a light touch, a light touch on the old thrust. Here's something sparking. Oh, it's probably in, inside the tube, really. Test our navigation here. Yeah, look at that. Uh, oh, down thrust. Thrust. Okay, alright. Easy. There we go. We did it! We did some zero-g fixeroo there. Surely I will not slam my face into a bunch of walls or asteroids when we're actually up in space. Alright. How do we get out of here? <laughs> uh, let's get out of here. There we go. 
preferably before we run out of fuel. Uh, do we have a map? We don't. Probably should have kept a beat on where we entered in here. This is pretty dark. There. I think over here. There we go. Okay, yep. There we go. Whee! We did it! <laughs> We did it! <laughs> oh, you're not interested in talking. Alright. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, I suppose I should uh, return the suit, huh? That was the deal. There you go. Boy, that does seem like a ragtag suit, though. Is that really gonna do in the harshness of the vacuum of space? Hope they got, give me a better one. <laughs> Feels pretty dangerous. Okay, but we did it, and we, 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 we fixed the thing, the three things. Uh, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space, but just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. Oh, yeah, thanks. Good advice. Uh, launch goes from the observatory and get out of here. Uh, best of luck. Hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed. Great. Again, concern for my well-being, just over the top. <clears throat> We got up here my ruins okay quantum grove crater that's a pretty sick name for something uh geyser mountains all right pretty practical young bark crater also pretty practical oh uh yeah Bonk. i see <laughs> That's pretty cool. Alright. Uh, how about this way? Oh. I guess it landed. <laughs> That's cool. Got it wedged in a tree. All right, that's enough of that. All right, let's get our launch codes and get out of here. Uh, is there anything else up this way, actually? Yeah, over here. Hope we take a look around as well. Hmm, all right. Rain, okay. Good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. Uh, what are you up to? And they pick up sounds from distant planets. There's the Outer Wilds Ventures frequencies. I can pick up the Traveler's music. I heard Revex Banjo come from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means you're safe. You're different plants, too. Depends on what time of day or night it is, since different plants are in the sky at different times. Those scopes are cool. Yeah, they are cool. Let's see. Where are you pointing at? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, 
That's pretty neat. visit those places eventually, right? Okay, look, enough fucking around. Let's go get those launch codes. Let's go to space. Go to space today. Feeling good. not jump off the waterfall. Even though Adventure Game Instinct's kicking in, I want to jump to the bottom of that waterfall and see if there's something behind it. Probably shouldn't do that. Okay, launch towers over there. No, no, no. Launch tower yet. I need to launch coats. Oh, but there's also more lore. Oh, look at that launch crew. That's neat. Additional founding members of Outer Wilds Ventures, without whom we could never have gotten off the ground. Ah, nice. Here's your, your Kickstarter backers list or something, right? That's fun. That That's a good in-universe way to do that. I like that. Right, intentionally, to be intentionally launched into space. I'm glad they clarified that. <clears throat> Completed first order around Timber Hearth and later made first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Adel Rock. Hell, okay. International night launch day at last. How about it's the translator's tools inaugural flight, too? I'm so excited, it's making me nauseous. You know, to translate any nomai text you want anywhere you are. Two of us put a lot of hours in inventing that thing. Don't break it. Oh, jeez. Do not break it. <laughs> As there is any, any, uh, not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I'm excited, actually. Um, I've only been waiting this day. This is for hatchlings. I can't wait to see how the training pay off. What's the dirt? You here to see the new Nomai statue? Uh, yes. Let's see here. I just finished prepping it for display today. Amazing, isn't it? See here, she could see what a real live Nomai looks like. I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Because they had fur. Fur is weird. <laughs> Fully intact statue ever found, you know, for how old it is. It's in great shape. Uh, okay. Let's see what we got. Huh. Well, that's interesting to be sure. Uh huh, uh huh. Ancient species dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. Most detailed yet look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. The decorative jewelry has been carved as part of the antlers. Artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in our solar system. We still have no idea where they came from or what happened to them. Sounds like a mystery we get to solve. Maybe. Radio tower is built to receive transmissions from deep space satellites. This day has the first ever photos taken of the entire solar system. <clears throat> it was made possible that deep space satellites unusual vertical orbit that carries it high above and below the plane of the solar system. The recent upgrade, the deep space satellite is now responsible for generating a real-time solar system map used by newest astronauts. Well, that's cool. Real Voyager one, this one, huh? Balls move on their own. Ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes this spooky motion? <laughs> As it orbits our planet, the analog gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. Yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Responsible for the tides and shit. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, gross. The anglerfish, or whatever the timber hearth... Uh, Equivalent of the anglerfish is? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> uh, so I'm attached to landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. Appears to be well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Groovy. Can't wait. Those aren't nightmare fuel at all. Uh, here's what's taking a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. Okay. It's uh, pretty. 
Create a local gravity distortion and most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Okay, sure. Whoa. Okay. All right. Oh, boy. Okay, yeah. Same thing, other side. This technology has been a great boon. Allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. The little Scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability. Hell yeah. <laughs> Dramatically reduce the number of Scouts lost to the depths of space. Yeah, that does seem handy. Better than dwellings and structures, and I also made art. This decorated pottery is discovered on Brittle Hollow. Strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were they born in our solar system? Were they born among other stars and planets? How and why did they come here? Some of the questions we have. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, okay, we've got an auto translate thing. Uh, huh, okay. Neat. It's essential to deciphering their unique language. Well, this text is linear, no matter the branch is off from its central point. Each branch tends to be written by a different author. Huh. Oh, I see. You're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, so this calibrating device won't take long. Actually, the Autorock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. That's kind of cool. Anything on the back side? Nah. And that we looked at was there. There was a second floor, too. Yeah. I guess I'm putting off going into space for the time being. But if it lets us uh, know a bit more before we head out, all the better. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. We are there. Wow, they've got some fast ass orbits. Um, okay. Got a few different planets. There's Giant's Deep, yeah, Dark Bramble. Ooh, got a, like a another little add-on star at the outside there. Okay, we're at Timber Hearth. Oh, got like a, a binary planet going on there, orbiting each other as it orbits the sun. That's pretty neat, I like that. What we got on the inside there, what is that? It's a satellite of some description, okay. Oof. Okay, I didn't expect to do that whole zoomed out bit right away, but that was fun. Fun and cool. Alright, horn fills. Alright, we need the uh, uh, launch codes. Launch codes, please. Okay, first ever astronaut uh, equipped with Nomai Translator. Yeah, all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unra unravel the mysteries. You have to be very proud of your work. What's your plan once you're in space? Uh, I, uh, I don't, I don't know. I'll, I'll play it straight. I don't know. <laughs> you know, getting started, you go visit Esker on the moon. They're alone on the Atom Rock most of the time. I'm sure they appreciate it. <clears throat> Plus, we don't know what the ancient Nomai runes on the moon are, why they were built. Put your new translator tool through its paces. So all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to die in space. <laughs> no, I'm not ready to die in space. I'm ready to get off this rock, though. Needing launch codes, yes. Uh, let's get off the ground before so there's any more modification to your ship, huh? Good luck out there, let me know if I can help you with anything. Sick. We got launch codes. Oh, I wish I knew Morse code, because that's probably Morse code right there. I don't know what that is. Uh, redshift calculation, there's a single galaxy and this image is moving away from us. In fact, the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away. It's as if the entire universe is expanding. Hey, yeah, Big Bang. But if that's true, is everything closer together in the past, and how far back can we extrapolate? Did the universe have a beginning? Oh, maybe. Maybe. Alright, we got launch codes. Let's get out of here. We're done here. For now. We might be back. But not for a bit. Oh, this looks cool. What is this? Strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. Level header among us realize this must be some sort of optical illusion. A garrow claims 
Claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. Yeah, okay. But it's actually happening. Both sides of the debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. All right, let's... Oh! Oh! Oh, hey, look at that. Yep. It moved when I, uh, looked away. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Get it over this one. <laughs> eh? Aha, there we go. <laughs> All right, well, that won't uh, startle me later, I'm sure. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. Oh. Oh. Oh, just playing back all the fucking around I did. <laughs> Thanks. Or does that count as a save point? That was weird. Anybody else see that? <laughs> oh, nobody else was here to see it. Damn. Well, that's not a bad sign. Okay, let's get out of here. I had one creepy experience too many. Um, hey, did you get a good look at the statue? Um... Statue was glowing. Why was it glowing? Yeah, exactly. It was doing what? It was, it was glowing. My own memories and glowing flying lights around. You look at hallucination. Well, maybe. <clears throat> sure, okay to launch. Like medically speaking. The sta statue is definitely weird, man. Saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did. But why? I don't know. Everything. The statue's eyes to open. Nothing like this ever happened to them. Yeah, well. If you're gonna, gonna get any answers from the museum statue, you know, so they're going back to Giant Steep. Huh. Okay. And really just you go in space and see if you can use your translator to find out more about the statue. Alright, you know what? Yeah, let's get let's get off this rock away from that thing. Didn't need the the past twenty five minutes of fucking around thrown into sharp relief like that, but hey, here we are. Um Launch tower. It's over there, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, going into space and never coming back? Uh, I'll come back. Oh. I was really sad if you don't come back. Like I got sad. Thanks to the talk about Feldspar. You should make sure you don't get lost in space, too. That's a different movie. It's not a great movie, either. But it is definitely a movie. Okay, let's get up and get out of here. Ass crack of dawn. Like day four already. Let's get out into space. Well, let's do the quick walk around check just in case, you know. Make sure everything's uh, ship shape. Looks alright. Okay, let's go. Whoop! Alright, check our gear. You know what? Suiting up seems like a good idea. Let's suit up. There we go. Alright. Oh, what? I guess, yeah, sometimes you don't suit up when you're lifting off. Okay, uh, I see. There we go. <clears throat> View map. Okay, there, okay. Now we've got an actual map going on here. Oh, we've got a, a comet on, like, an ultra-elliptical orbit here, too. The interloper, huh? That'd be cool to go check that out. Maybe once we're, uh... familiar with, uh, with our ship controls here. Okay, uh, let's go. Lift off! Oof. Away we go! Okay. Wow, really? I don't know where we're gonna land. I don't know what what this is we're gonna be landing on, but let's. Nice and easy now. Nice and easy. 
but you don't want to don't want to fly right into it, right? That's the whole deal. I'm gonna go. Oh, easy. <laughs> this is gonna take me a while to make my first landing here. Oh boy. Okay, you wanna rotate up, right? Then be like, whoop, oh, whoop, oh, careful, easy. Right about there. And touchdown, I guess. <laughs> All right, we're here. <laughs> um, have I been spoiled on anything in the game? No, I have not. This is uh, going pretty much in fresh. Ship's log, we landed successfully on the Addle Rock. All right, we wanted to come to the Addle Rock anyway. Um, okay, we're suited up. Out we go. Oh, wow. Okay, that... It, the constant orbiting might mess with me a, a touch here, but we'll see. Okay, our O2 is going down, so let's, uh... Where's our map? Do we have just, like, a map of the present planetoid we're on? I feel like I don't want to lose track of where my ship is. <laughs> oh, there, it's over on the left. Okay. Alright, we get to do things here. Okay, yeah, there we go. It's the first. Uh, right, signal scope. Oh, it even kind of tells us, it even gives us a HUD marker where the ship is. That's good too. I like that. Because it's one thing you don't want to do when you're on a, on a planet or shit. Don't want to get lost. Unidentified signal. Alright. Oh, hey. Hey, there we go. Oh, nice. There's trees and shit, so we get our O2 tank refilled. That's awesome. I like that. Esker. That's right. Hey, Esker. What's up? I didn't tell me you were launching. Long time to see. Actually, it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Uh, doesn't anybody uh, come by? I saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly... He used to keep a set of eyes on things. This chick comes by to say hi, Gabro's Gabro. He's off doing whatever, you know. Uh, you know, Rebeck feels about unnecessary space flight. Let's go. Uh, I mean, anything else? Uh, it seems lonely up here. <clears throat> I'm in touch with ground control. Horn fills and ghosts in mostly. They radio up to chat every now and again. Ground control forgets I'm up here, and they usually do. <laughs> That's my little scout at the village. <laughs> they forget about you? <laughs> well, I don't check in as often as the other travelers since I'm always in one place. I mean, your, your stones throw away, too, you know? Uh, it's not so bad up here, really. It's just peace and quiet. I, uh, I, get, I, can get, I can get behind that. Don't always get that in our solar system, let alone our village. Um, is that you whistling? Probably. Or actually, definitely. I mean, there's nobody else up here, right? Uh, the travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. Pick up their music at the signal scope, you know. Best spot for that is the North Pole. Great reception. Mark the red in your mini map. The Adam Rock is a pretty small moon, really. Just go north. You can't miss it. Well, yeah. If you go north too far, you end up going south. Um, what is this place? I mean, besides the moon. Uh, <laughs> serious, aren't you? That's just... <laughs> a lunar outpost. Okay, I mean, I kind of knew that. I worked it out from context clues. Um, apparently space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. First started out our wild, servers used to bring the ships here all the time for repairs. Improved since then, though the ships tend to fall apart a lot more than they do now. That was cut down on the number of launches and landings taking place in the village and also the number of fires. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here raising samplings from Timber Hearth keeping an eye on things. Uh, that, that's kind of cool, you know? Frontier living. Frontier living. It's look at these a nice place up here too like this doesn't look bad at all it looks pretty sick if i'm being honest there esker can i go inside no of course not oh right i've got a suit which has got a jetpack
we're not on the North Pole, but we get pretty good reception up here, I guess. And who was it that had the harmonica? Wasn't that, uh, that wasn't Feldspar. That was somebody else. I already forget the names. I'll just pick a, a random rock or mineral or something, and I'll, I'll probably have named somebody. That's pretty cool. Oh, all right. I imagine we can hurt ourselves by falling too far, but until that happens the first time, I guess. Ah, I see. So now we're back on suit oxygen since we're away from the trees. That's kind of cool. I like that. That's an interesting uh, mechanic going on. There is fall damage. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. I imagine there would be, at least for our ship, but uh, I guess it's good to know that without having to do a little bit of personal science, you know? Okay, yeah, this is definitely a moon. Very dead up here, except for uh, uh, Esker's little thing. Oh, and whatever happens to be down here. Oop, careful. Oh, oh, careful. Oh, <laughs> ouch. My elbow. Recording. Research notes. Uh, old crater. Neat thing is the composition of the samples. Blah, 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 blah. Matches the composition of the ice in the outskirts of Dark Bramble. Adel Rock was hit with a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. And there are more fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed on other astral bodies in the solar system. Yeah, maybe. That'd be very, uh... Oh, yeah, here it is. Chunk of ice. Be very, uh... Space-related, right? Bits of shit just kind of hanging out on other planets. Oh, all right, right. We don't want to fly off into space just in our suit here. That would be bad. Here's the South Pole, I guess, huh? Ooh. Fancy. Oh, we're going to get an O2 refill in here because there's technically plants? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Good. Okay. Translate, please. Uh, the stairs testing the eye signal locator, and I can hear, and it can hear and follow the signals from the sun. Giant's deep and brittle hollow. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal. The device's indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. Curious results. Possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. You must likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Prevent my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. Fans being positive, my friends, but I believe the locator cannot detect the eye signal. We would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eye of the universe. Then we'll build it. Don't lose hope. Search the eyes what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. Oh, okay. So they're out here looking for the eye. Oh, uh. Oh, I see. It's probably just a way to reread whatever thing that is. Okay. Well, let's grab it then. Ah, I see. Uh, let's drop that for a moment. Seen the show in other traveler's pictures, but seeing it for myself. It's really old. I mean, I guess so. Pretty well preserved for being as old as it is, probably. This is the coolest day of my life. Okay, time for some official notes. Some kind of know my locator can point out the different planets, which is pretty cool. From a little I can understand the writing here. I think it was built to try to find something specific. Yeah, the eye, the eye of the universe, I guess, right? I'll be able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow, so I'll fly there to see if I can learn more. South Pole, Brittle Hollow. Got it. I'm gonna get back in the old ship and take off. Totally safe, mostly safe. <laughs> 
more or less, right? Oh, oh, I see. I see. So that's a, a little, little reader bit, I guess. Uh, okay, drop that one. Pick this one up. <laughs> Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than the size signal locator is. Southern Glacier on Brittle Hollow. Ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, it's built there. Imagine our young <clears throat> friend Kanoi would enjoy that immensely. He's always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born born so long after the crash. Ooh. Begin construction of Brittle Hollow South Pole immediately. Okay, Brittle Hollow South Pole, got it. And those of us originally stranded on Ember Twin, Ember Twin, built a quantum moon locator there. The heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. Okay, good to know. Can't put it back, huh? I guess we'll just put it on the ground. <laughs> Father, uh, reloading it into a wall or something. Okay. Is there another floor down here? Okay, yeah, no, no, that, that one we did. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Interesting. So we, we we know sources of oxygen. That's good. I imagine our fuel will refill when we get back to the ship. At least I hope that's the case. Whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, what was that? I just kinda looked somewhere and it's doing a rotate a bit. Oh, that's cool. That was cool. I don't know, I don't know how I did whatever that was, but that was cool. I just kinda, I stepped onto the platform. Oh, I see. Oh, it's a little ball and you put it in a little slots and it does something. Ah, cool. Alright, where, where are you, uh... Weird. Okay. How about this one. Oh, okay. I see the comet over there. Alright. Spins wildly around, sort of. This one actually stabilized. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Weird, but also interesting. Oh, I see. Now it's tracking that planet with this particular tunnel bit. Okay, I get it. Yeah, because the rest of the walls are busted up. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Okay. With that in mind, then let's see what these others are. And these are really close if it's only like 12 kilometers away. <laughs> these uh, celestial bodies are very near. Uh, 
All right, that's cool. That's good to know about. Let's get one more O2 refill before we trek back to the ship here. Or take a, a walk along the surface. Oh wait, we gotta stay by there and let it refill. There we go. Oh, and then there's the ship over there, right? That's where we put ourselves down. We can trek to the North Pole real quick here and see what happens. Ooh, excuse me. All right, let me actually stop off quick here and see if it refill our fuel. Maybe return the suit. And then pick it back up. Did that refill it? It didn't. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Hey, <laughs> right there. Excellent. Ah, I see. It's the various different things we picked up. Hmm. Mm hmm. Interesting. Okay. Uh. Okay. And then we can. Pop some markers so we can go to there. <laughs> I've been al alone on the moon for too long. Oh, lol. Main source of explosions, yada yada yada. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay, we've learned a few things, right? Cave, Moon Gabbro. Giant's Deep, right? Okay, that's one of our. Presumed destinations here. Uh huh. Pinpoint the sources of distant signals. It's pointed by the failure to detect a signal from something called the Eye of the Universe. But that then leads to the. What? The South Pole of Brittle Deep, right? Brittle Hollow. Right. Brittle Hollow South Pole. Got it. Uh huh. Okay. Yep. Yeah, those two are connected. Uh, the Anorax North Pole is a great spot to listen for the other trail of the music of the signal scope. Yeah, I mean, we heard most of it already, right? Wouldn't hurt to go take a look, I guess. While we're here... When are we going to be back at, uh... The moon, anyways? Dear, I imagine I'm going to have to, uh... To land something down there. <laughs> okay. All right, North Pole. Oh, yeah, that's very, uh... Handy platform. Day 48. Still not picking Remix Banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but feel better once they hear the music. The shirt played for a while today, and related someone should tell Porphy and Gusson their flirting is not subtle. <laughs> Fucking creepo. Oh, uh, you're clear today. Sounds like Remix doing okay. Yeah, I thought I heard something strange. I don't know. It's probably nothing. I was back again today. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. Uh, sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica, but he disappeared in space ages ago. Hmm. Well, we heard harmonica, though, didn't we? I thought we did. Yeah, right. Literally right over there. Uh, what's his face? Wasn't trying hard enough if he couldn't hear the harmonica. Literally 12 kilometers away, buddy. Okay, this is pretty cool. Is 
sure there's something to be said about that waveform down there. We're trying to get all these circles to line up at the the right spot, yeah. Imagine that's a mystery we'll be solving. <laughs> That's cool though. I like this. We got, a, we got a mystery, we got an adventure, we got space. Alright, there's the campsite, of course, yeah. There we go. It's like, what do you mean? Unidentified signal. Of right next to him. Whoa. Something didn't explode up there. Hold up. Oh, it's a comet. Neat. Uh. Uh. Well, that's getting real close. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh, jeez. Hmm. I'm sure that was uh, a narrative uh, scripted event going on there. back here? The what? I... Um... Did I just die? <laughs> He's like, I was Leah, that's a negative on being deceased. Okay. Sleep out under stars night before launch makes, it makes you all a bit jumpy. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so we're, we're time looping a bit. Hmm. That's weird. I was just having a good look around the moon, and, uh, I think we died. <laughs> hmm. Alright. Well, nothing to do but to get back up into space, I guess. Hmm. Alright. Fine, I guess. <laughs> Escape from gravity's hold here. There we go. Alright, well, pretty sure we got what we needed out the moon there. Let's go to the, the orbiting twins, the what the whatevers. What are they called? Hourglass twins. Make a successful non crashy landing on this one. Ooh, that's coming at a, at a pretty good clip. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Pull up a little bit. Okay, alright. Oh, uh, back up a little more. Oh, okay. Oh, not towards the sun though. Um, um, uh oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. Right there, there we go. All right, then. Oh, okay, kind of hard landing. That's all right. Down we go. There we go. Oh. Okay, there we go. Just set down. Perfect. <laughs> First try. <laughs> Looks pretty tiny out there. I'm sure we'll be all right. Okay. Go take a look. See, I was hitting the left stick clicky thing to lock on it. It wasn't taking, though, which confuses me. I 
wonder if that mapping sporked or I'm not doing it right. Either of which could be a very plausible explanation. Ooh, what do we got here? Ooh. Winky about something here. Eh? Boosh. There we go. Eh. Perfect. Oh. Oh. Maybe we shouldn't have walked into the glowy bit. Or maybe we should have. I don't know. Oh, it's just forcing me out of it. Okay. Okay, well. Let me see it. What we got here? One, two, three. Four obelisks pointing inwards towards this thing. I'm sure it's fine. at the South Pole, I guess. North Pole's marked red. Maybe we shouldn't go too far. I'm not 100% sure what our oxygen limit is really going to be here. Time-wise. As far as how long it'll take us to get back to the ship. stuff going on at the North Pole, too. Same deal? Well, sort of. So there's only three... Oh, maybe there are four collectors here as well. Whatever these things are. That looks higher up, though. I don't know if I'm going to be able to jetpack that one. Boosh! Oh, no. Oof. No, oh, that one's too tall. Unless... Well... <laughs> we... Skyrim horse our way up one of these. Whee! Oh! Uh... Oh, oh, oh... <laughs> kinda. Just kind of ejected myself way the fuck out. Alright, let's try that again. There we go. Nestle ourselves into there. Whee! There we go. Oh, 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 that's too far! Too far! <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh. <laughs> Alright, let's try it from this side. Serviceable enough, I guess. Oh. Alright, easy, easy. Oof! Okay. Three minutes of oxygen. Alright. There we go. We're up. Ah, oh, same jit. <laughs> Doesn't like me going down there. Okay, fine. Fine. Alright, should probably consider going back to the ship, though. Running out of the oxygen. Very important for living, it seems. Okay, well, I checked out both poles. No entry into either of those. But... 
interesting stuff. We'll remember that, maybe. Come back when we've got some more info and or equipment. Use med kit. Where's our, uh... Do we have a health readout? I guess we took a, a pretty hard slam in one of those, right? see any sort of health indicator there either so eh whatever okay let's see um let's go to well let's go to the other the other twin i suppose the ember twin the ash twin okay oh are they is there like some actual physical link to them i wonder that would actually make a whole lot of sense. All right, let's go. Clear the gravity well. Try to anyways. There we go. Okay, yeah, I, I see it. I see it. Okay. It's kind of wild. Okay. Ooh. Easy, 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 easy. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Well, I guess that works. <laughs> Successful landing. Perfect. Had a, a little help from the wall there, but that's fine. Hmm. into this sort of rune thing. Okay. Cool. Feels like something I should be able to interact with and Rotate bits around so it solves a puzzle. Doesn't seem to be. Is it based on my facing here? No, it's doing some other shit. Hmm, okay. Well, let's have a look around. Oh, jeez. Excuse me. Hmm. Alright. I don't want to get caught under that more than I already was. Oh. Hmm. I also don't want to fall down there. Got another structure over here. This is going to be a, enough plant life to refill oxygen, I wonder. Oh, oh, I see. There's a little... Okay, we got a little lead of something down there. Star need to remain closed for some time. I'm running an experiment based on extraordinary findings from the White Hole Station. <coughs> High Energy Lab is now being used to design the Ash Twin Project. If you're here to help, or even just to observe, I'm sure. Use a Sunless City path to the lab. And I'll be running this experiment until one of us specifically me can prove the other wrong. So although it's inconvenient, the lab currently can only be accessed by the path from the Sunless City. Fighting sand inside the disruptor setup and could have enormous consequences. Realize this is an intriguing prospect. The door must remain closed nonetheless. We'll see about that. If there's a door I want opened, I'm gonna open it. Okay. My energy lab. Well, I mean if the door's busted, that's another story though. In the city, 300 meters. Okay. Well, nice of them to give us a path. Hmm.
ghost matter. Oh no. Uh, do, do I have a, a camera to detect? Oh, oh, excuse me. Oh, right. There we go. Ghost matter. Oh, here? Ah. Yes, there is ghost matter, in fact. Uh... Can I do anything about that? Probably can, but I don't know what it is. Just yet. Hmm. Yeah, well, let's take this other path around. Maybe it'll be fine. It's kind of moving a little bit, huh? Uh oh, uh oh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh. Eh! Birds! <laughs> Get up and out of the way of that path. There we go. Oh, I don't want to get hit by that, probably. Back up, give it some space. Hey, Ronkley, how you doing? That one game didn't update. Fucking Twitch, man. Alright, hold on a second. Stream info updated successfully. Yeah, my ass, Twitch. Uh, <laughs> there. It should be updated. I hope it is. If it isn't, I'm just gonna throw a big old shrug. But thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Um, oh, we gotta find... Uh, we gotta get oxygen. We got three minutes of air left. Alright, I'm gonna have to either risk the, uh, the ghost matter or... Uh, all right, fuck it. Risk the ghost matter. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, I think we can't. <laughs> oh, man. I think we cannot risk the ghost matter, apparently. <laughs> ah, well. Shit, if it's gonna pop us back to... Starting fire. Oh, I bet we can like take a snooze at the various campfires and shit, and that'll be our save point. That's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking here. Yeah, what's up? Did I die? You know the ship is a death trap, right? Oh, you're lucky I'm in a time because otherwise it'd be super dead. Okay, I don't have to be grounded for medical reasons because I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, all right, keep getting killed by ghost matter. If you use your scout to detect it, you won't, you dummy idiot. Do you think I made that so you just take pretty little pictures? I mean, yeah. Use it as a light source, right? Stars are both... Yeah, I... Yes, I knew that. <laughs> of course I knew that. Sort of. Fucking... Take me for... Shit. Alright. Okay, so that's impassable for the moment, then. Until we figure out how to get rid of ghost matter. Besides waiting a whole long time. Alright. Oh, there's a pre-flight pre -flight checklist. Yeah, sure. Uh, in fact, boost can be triggered with a separate button press manual or any time upward thrust is used. Auto. Uh, no, let's just do the normal one. Uh, translator auto equip is good. Increased time in translating text is fine. Reading ship log is fine. Talking to others. Eh, don't really care. Didn't realize this was here. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, let's, let's go. Um, let's go to... Um, I'm not really done exploring uh, the Ember Twin, I guess. Okay. Alright, let's, let's take a look at controls once, because that does not feel like it's doing a thing. To lock onto the thing. Um, ba 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 da ba da 
Oh, when locked on, I can press a button. Uh, locks on to indicate a target. Oh, yeah, really? Oh, that says what, that's what it is. Okay. Seems weird. All right, fine. Um, okay. Oh, there. See, that time it worked. I had to rebind the motherfucker before it worked. Well, don't tell me it's bound if you're not gonna fucking... Ah. Uh, damn it. All right, whatever. Let's go. To space. And probably doom. And death. Etc. All right. There we go. Okay. We are locked on. Hold A to match... Oh, or not. Hold A to match velocity. Gauge autopilot. There we go. That's handy! <laughs> oh, don't abort autopilot. Oh, geez, we're getting awful close to the sun. Autopilot. <laughs> autopilot, my ass! What did Tesla make this? Fuck. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> Uh. Okay, do not fly close to the sun. It will be a bad time. Away we go. It's alright. Good thing we are uh, in a time loop, as stated earlier. the there that's the one I want lock oh headlights on lock go engage this time well away from the Sun and preferably don't don't slam our faces into the other one that's orbiting it okay here we go firing retros that's fine Okay, we are in orbit. Standard orbit. Um, okay. Let's approach. We'll try to land close to where we died earlier, I guess. I don't remember where that is. Oh, oh, uh, okay, there we go. Hold A to not die is pretty much what I'm getting here. Oh, jeez. Where'd this other planet come from? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Okay, there. Ooh, I want to land next to that. That seems good. All right. Uh, landing mode. Uh, sort of, I guess. There we go. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, yeah, that's perfect. Set her down right there. Beautiful. Perfect. I think. Yeah. Okay. Out we go. Okay. Signal nearby, too. Perfect three point landing. One, two, and a half. <laughs> Oh, whoops, I didn't even go back up. Identified signal nearby, okay. Where? Over here, perhaps? Maybe the big glowy column of light in the sky? There we go. Oh, it's an escape pod. Okay. Well, it's powering or being powered by something. Over here, maybe? Is 
Sash reports for all systems, but it's initial things first. Everyone unharmed. Uh, sure. Skipod's passengers are afraid, but physically well. Everyone survived the crash. Great. Uh, that's a relief. And my gratitude, we were able to find the other escape pod's distress signals. Here both signals somewhere in the star system, but I don't believe either escape pod crashed on the same planet as us. Whoops. That's a... That's a big old bummer. Mmm, I see. Okay. Oop. Okay. That doesn't bode well. Collision imminent. <laughs> Uh, escape pod 234, vessel has been mortally injured, oops. Uh... Gameplay external temperature is prohibitively high. Inhospitable, do not seek shelter on planet's surface. Good advice. Good advice. It's more bearable below the surface. Escape pod punctures planet's surface broken into what the skin shows a cable system with much cooler air. I would recommend we seek a site down there to build a long-term shelter. Got a maze. If it's dangerous, it's still our best chance for survival. We'll form teams and descend in the caves to look for a shelter site. We'll mark our findings on the walls to avoid becoming irreversibly lost. Boy, that seems good. Seems like a good idea. Be cautious. Be aware of the sand as you search. It appears to be rising gradually. Oh. Uh oh. Alright. Well. Take a look around. Emergency escape hatch. Sure. If you say so. Keep moving. There's nothing but interest nothing of interest at the end of the passage but rocks. All these rocks are interesting. They can wait until a less urgent time. I'm interested in rocks. What do we got here? Nothing. Rocks. Okay. Didn't know what I expected. Not follow this tunnel to its end. Blah 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 blah. Horror that lies at its terminus, provided we live through this. Okay. You know what? We've died three times, four times in the past. We'll be okay with the fifth. Ooh, that looks scary. Uh. Eh. 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 Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a that's an anglerfish, all right. We also have a thing. Can we uh, read that from here? Probably not. <clears throat> oh, I I think I know what to do. Um, go launcher. Hold the retrieve. Oh, oh, hold the retrieve. Try again. There we go. There, can I not, uh, I can't translate from a distance. That's a bummer. Okay, maybe there's another way in. Ow! Oh. Okay. Do not touch cactus. Do not hug cactus. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. An enormous cavern at the end of this passage. Okay. This wise choice of shelter. I mark directions for the others. Start of the path to the shelter site. Lift directions to guide you there. Excellent. Stories. The pathway there is filling with sand. Do not allow yourself to be buried by sand to make sure no one is lost. Okay. Good advice. Uh. Over here? Okay. Make haste is the, the order of the day, I guess. Oh, that's Cactus Alley right there. Don't want to do that. Good way to get me to not go into a, a spot, I suppose. As the shelter site is somewhat convoluted, so follow the instructions ahead closely. Yeah, I mean, I guess I just follow the, the rune marks. It's fine. Shelter site, walk forward until you meet the sand fall at the pit, then turn left. Continue to the room filled with rock column formations and climb upward through the opening above them. 
Sandfall, turn left. Rock column, up. Got it. Cautious but swift. Understood. I'm gonna go this way. Okay, Sandfall, turn left. something upwards, right? Uh, hmm. Uh, oh. I might have gotten turned around. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, sandfall, turn left. Got it. Uh, and then... Rock columns, ah, upward, yes. Yes, of course. I hope they've got oxygen wherever they are. Wherever they're leading me to, because we are running out. That would be a nasty way to go. Cost of crossing the chasm and the chasm ahead. This Valerian crafter will do its job, but it isn't strong. Once on the far side, look for the tunnel hidden behind the falling sand. Fall and you reach the shelter site. Tunnel behind falling sand. Got it. Oh, that's a hell of a bridge. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it looks like a tunnel. Oh, okay. Do not touch cactus. Doing well. It's only a little farther left to go now. You reach the shelter site. You can rest there. Hurry before the sand comes. And before I run out of oxygen. Ugh. Eh. Okay, we're here. Open door, please. Oh no. Gotta do a thing. There we go. Uh, okay, there's some plants. Uh. Oh, the cactuses don't count as plants. There's some plants over there, though. Uh, uh. All right, I'd like to explore this, but need plants. <laughs> ah, that's better. All right, should we build the sun station to power the Ash Twin project? Are there other ways to generate this level of power? Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. Sand's proposal is settling the sun station with the build to help to complete the Ash Twin project. Okay. <clears throat> I almost can't comprehend this as being suggested seriously. The purpose of the sun station goes against every standard, blah, 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 scientific hubris, etc., right? Uh, unsurprisingly, I disagree. <clears throat> Pushing impossible new technology further than ever before. Ha! <laughs> the bad experience is, is the defining characteristic of our species. Oh, boy. Oh, I would love for you to meet humanity. Um, if we fail, and the probability of this is not insignificant, we will without question destroy ourselves. All life here and the rest of this star system. I wish to protect these species. Oh, boy. Potential annihilation of an entire star system is too severe a cost. Finally, a voice of reason. We shouldn't build the sun station, no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. Fear of failure is a poor reason not to try. That, that's not what that, that's not what fear of failure is. But whatever, whatever. I, I believe if we're cautious, the sun station will work. I believe. Yeah. Okay. Believe all you want, I guess. I'm deeply honored. But I comprehend your position. However, we aren't all. If we aren't all but certain the sun station will not cause destruction once we built it, then I won't support the station's use. Aha. Uh -huh. Sure. Once you build the thing, you're not going to use it, huh? Bullshit. I'm gonna I'm gonna call bullshit right away on that. Uh, at least hubris ca crosses the species bounds here, right? That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling here. Oh, careful. Okay, so we're down here now. Oh, we are rising very slowly, aren't we? 
okay, yeah, I, I can see what they mean by, hey, uh, you got you got to move like you got a purpose. And it's like, I guess that's sort of true. Stepping stone cave, that sounds fun. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not what I wanted. Hmm. Oh, yeah, the sand is rising more rapidly than it should. That crap. Do we, uh, spend too much time fucking about? Uh, uh, left or right? Let's go left. Oh, left was a bad choice. Let's go right. Uh, uh, we'll take another right. No, oh, bad choice. Uh, uh, left. Okay, that was, uh, that was the same thing, whatever. Oh, boy. Aha! Something else in here. Oh, alright, well, we made it through before sand overtook the place, I guess. Okay. Fossil fish game tonight. <clears throat> Fed the fossil fish a new lantern. If you go to Stepping Stone Cave, the entrance to the fossil fish cave is you did see now. Well, I think that's where we are. <clears throat> it's good you're small enough to climb in through the hole at the Anglerfish Outlook. Yeah, we saw that. Still small enough. Won't be for long. It'll be tall too. Okay, well. Clearly, it's messier writing, so clearly it's kids. Oh shit, the sand is still rising. Oh, crud. Okay. Uh. Uh. Um... Okay, we're back to the, the center bit here. Uh... Anglerfish Overlook District. Stepping Stone District. My Energy Lab Trailhead. My Shrine District. Oh! It's little paths guiding me. I see. Hmm. Uh, well, our time here looks to be limited, so... Hmm. Well, there's the way out, presumably. I kind of want to look around more. <laughs> oh, ruh row. Yeah. Oh, that's no good. They died here. Okay, I don't know where this goes. Oh, this, uh, from below. I see, I see. Can I still do that? Or is it... Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Wow, yeah. They are limiting me on this. Shit. Uh, that was one we opened. Anglerfish fossil overlook. Sure, sounds good. I'm gonna be limited in time anyway. Oh, I see. We're not gonna be able to squeeze through there. Hey, look inside the cave. How did this come to rest here? We haven't encountered others in these caves. I think it's a rare find. You can see, blah, 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 blah. Must be very old. Imagine what we could learn. Unlikely this dry planet is the source place of origin. <clears throat> This hole is too small for it to fit through. There's another entrance to this cave. If there is, blah, 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 blah. Okay, uh-huh. Need to find a way inside quickly, because when, when I returned here to search for an entrance to the cave, there were children playing. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. It looks like there's an entrance up above, but uh, I don't think we're going to get there before it uh, gets buried. I think we're F-U-K-T fucked on this one. I guess it's good to know about. Yeah, wow. Might be some way to stop the sand from doing its biz from the other part of the planet, too, huh?
Uh, <laughs> boy. Our options are dwindling here. Take a look at some couple of the others that aren't entirely buried yet. Nothing except death and despair, and oh boy, that is rising rapidly. Okay. Gravity cannon. That sounds fun. this, and then blip. Hmm. Like we're getting, uh, through that bit, huh? Okay. Well, we found a way around. That's fine. I see. The entire thing is is shrinking and it's coming over here. Oh, that that's kind of a cool effect. I kind of hate that it limits our time here, but that's a neat way to go about it for sure. A gravity cannon. Oh, can we fire this thing up maybe and put the sand back over there? That would be cool. I have no idea how how it'd go about doing that, but probably needs to point at the thing first. Okay. Maybe we have many other options here. Boy, this is real close to the sun. It's the... Feels like the sun might be going nova here. Uh, that looks like it's expanding. That might be a problem. <laughs> that might be a big ass problem very soon. learn all we can before shit goes sideways here. <clears throat> it's not sometimes and only sometimes has a moon. It's also, if not, it disappears if no one is watching it. Interesting. Okay. First time encountering a natural satellite with the ability to banish from not being watched. You should study it, or even better, you should travel there. First step would be determining a method to track this phantom moon so we can always know where it is. <clears throat> Given its reluctance to move while consciously observed. Might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. Uh, many admirers, uh-huh. What happens is it disappears. Does it move to another location? Oh, well, does the moon appear around Brittle Hollow? I can confirm it appears sometimes orbits Timber Hearth as well. That's wild. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's tracking the various planets as they go around. Hmm. <clears throat> it's 
another another distress beacon over on whatever that one is. What is that? What are we pointing at? It's just another just another moon within reach, I suppose, huh? Looks like it's got a black hole inside of it. Ooh, that's fancy. Oh, what's that? Hmm, okay. Stop. Oh, wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. Oh. It's being observed, right? Hmm, okay. Well, I have a feeling. Oh, that is definitely getting bigger. Oh, there is no way we're making it out of this alive. <laughs> That's getting bigger. That sun is, is going to do an explode. Let's learn before we die. <clears throat> We're making astronomical observations here that shows an excellent spot. <clears throat> What's this big rotating device for? It tracks planets. Uh, what was it the Nomai were observing? I don't know. There's something special about the orange symbol on the device. Selling the new astron astronaut's translator tool would be nice to have handy about now. I mean, I know about as much as you do. <laughs> oh, yeah, translator, actually. Let's go learn about this shit. Quantum moon locator. Okay, it's functioning. We put markers on for each of the places the moon goes. Let's uh, observe the quantum moon in orbit around Dark Bramble. Or Dark Bramble. Locator now accounted for all the phantom moon's locations, but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is. <coughs> okay. It's possible there exists a sixth place in the star system in which the phantom moon travels. Five locations, not four. Okay, so they've only got five marked then, huh? Oh, jeez. Alright. Maybe. One, two, three, four. Ah, right there. So as soon as we point our noodles at it, it stops moving, which I guess makes sense, yeah? Uh, let's see if it's good. It's probably that one there. Hmm. Oh, uh, moved again. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, okay. We dying. We dying here. That was a good run. It's a good run. We didn't die to ghost matter. <laughs> we died to the sun exploding. Mm. Goodly enough, I suppose, huh? What an interesting way to reset the thing, though. What does that give you? About maybe 30 minutes? 30 minutes real time to, to fuck around before things go boom. Hmm. Weird. Uh. <laughs> the autopilot blew my ship directly into the sun. I mean, sort of, yes. <laughs> not exactly impossible for the autopilot to get you too close to the sun, but it's not like it'll try to take you there on purpose. I don't know, man. <laughs> Make sure the sun isn't between you and your destination when you engage autopilot, and you'll be fine. Well, and also don't get too close, because that gravity well is something else. Um, yeah, it's fine. Okay. That's an interesting way to go about things, I tell you what. But alright, so does it, does it at least our ship's log stay up to date with the shit we discover and when we die and all that? Yeah, it does. Okay, that's good. 
something is immune to time's ravages. Oh, wow, we have learned a lot. Oh, oh, look at all these uncompleted quests here. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Okay, well. Yeah. Brittle Hollow, uh, Brittle Hollow South Pole, and then we learned a whole bunch of new stuff. Uh, access to a path from the Sunless City, yep, yeah, we did that. Uh, experience in the high energy that are based on extraordinary findings in a white hole station. Don't know what the fuck that is. Um, Sunless City, which we went to, right? Um, divided vertically into four districts. Debated building a sun station in order to power the Ash Twin Project. Several know my opponents of construction. Arguing that a failure could result in the destruction of the solar system. There's more to explore here. Oh, gosh. More to be time limited about, I guess. Alright. One of the three know my escape pods that crashed in a solar system. All three escape pods were launched with something called the vessel. Right? And we did locate a second one, I think. Whether that's one or three, who knows. Uh, found a cave of the angular fish fossil. The opening is only big enough for a scout. Uh, blah, 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 blah. There's another way to enter. From Stepping Stone Cave, which I thought we were going towards, but didn't find the right path, I guess. Uh, entrance from Stepping Stone Cave is hard to see unless the angular fish is fed a light first. Oh, well, the scout, maybe? Okay. Wild. Okay, and then there's this branch up here, the Quantum Moon Locator, okay, which we did, we did see. Uh, let's track Quantum Moon's location, blah, 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 blah. Just to a total of five locations, six perhaps, right? Possibly to an unknown six location. That would disappear when no one was watching. Intriguing. I wonder if we need to leave our scout there to keep an eye on it so it'll not fucking jump around. Uh, did we read everything here? More or less. Uh, boy. I don't even know. There. Well, there's something on Timber Hearth here, huh? I guess we could stick close to home for a bit and see if we can locate, uh, I guess, Feldspar, huh? Can't be that big of a planet, right? But I kind of want to keep my suit just in case I need to jump around some places, right? Uh, alright, let's see. Here. There we go. There. Uh, zoom in. Down here. Oh, right. Careful. Whee! Off! <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> Alright. Gonna make our way around. Try to make our way around, I suppose. The whole point. Gotta do an explore. Relatively normal gravity, I suppose. Hmm, okay. Waterfall? Do you think there's something behind that one? There's gotta be something behind that one, right? Well, that's wild. Oh, well, that's hard to see as well. Uh, nothing. Nothing behind that waterfall. Boo! I, you know what? I, I guess there's plenty of other things to see, so I'm not surprised they didn't, like, put something real good there. Alright, uh, where are we headed here? Oops. like almost inside the planet somewhere. Maybe there's a cave around here. Uh, so let's go up. Eh. 
I mean, I get, well, the alternative is I just take the ship, right? Just fucking fly it up and then land it somewhere else. That seems like the smart idea. And eventually we do get around to doing the smart ideas. Um, what the hell's the launch pad though? <laughs> it's down. Down at base camp somewhere. And why do I think of these when I'm not like near the place where I need to be? Oh, there. It even tells me where the ship is. Dummy. That's right, because I took my suit with me, like a big smartman. <laughs> Just so I would have the, uh... The HUD with me while I did this. There's the little thing. Oh. Wait a minute! <laughs> they have the technology to have automatic elevator call? Come on, man! <laughs> well, I hope nobody saw that. <laughs> uh, Slate definitely didn't see that, right? You didn't see that, did you, buddy? <laughs> huh. <laughs> Excellent. I figured there would be like a call button I would have to manually hit, but nope. Apparently it's standing at the bottom of the elevator shaft. Ill-advised. Don't do it. Don't do that. Bad idea. Alright, let's just fly somewhere else on this same planet. And we'll see if we can find, uh, uh, Feldspar, I guess, right? Let's get out of the crater. Have a look around. Look over here. Look up over here. Over here seems good, huh? Yeah, that's like a little, little point of interest. Ah. Okay. Okay, right about 200 meters that away. Maybe it's down one of the geysers? Maybe that's the hint they gave us at the very start. Like, try landing in one of the geysers or whatever, right? That was the whole deal? Well, I'm effectively immortal, right? So it's not like it... Matters if I eat shit once or twice trying to get to this guy. Whoa! Whoa. Okay. Expected. Okay. Uh, um, uh, okay. You know what? That's good. That's good. Whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Damn it. It's like, hey, yeah, perfect. Saved from a, a messy falling death by the geyser, but uh, then popped back out. By a different geyser. Okay, there you go. Oh, oh stop, 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 stop. Just like hang out here before we get popped out somewhere else. There you go. Are we? Oh, no, no, that goes out. I don't want to go out yet. Uh, here. There. Oh, it's like down further. Excuse me? How 
much further down into the planet we can go here. We've got an easy way out if we need it. Any one of these will do, but I'll start kind of in here. Just one of the geysers out of here, maybe. Yeah, probably. Just made a big ass circle. Ah, well. Sometimes that's what you do. You make a big ass circle. Oh, that's actually the water inflow to this place. Uh, okay, never mind. How about over here? Looks vaguely. Traversable. Alright. Whoa! Hello! Bingo! Okay, now we're talking. So, I say too, it couldn't be safe. Wouldn't be safe for native life to learn some of this case pools, so let's remove mine to one of the other sites. The other case sites look crossing. What about 2B? different game. <clears throat> this sounds rather than you and your mentor investigate. Mining site 2B proves safe. Then we'll move our work there. It's safe, so we'll continue to monitor our activity and its effects on life here. Okay. Let's say a new life. The species is semi-aquatic and very hardy. I mean, we can't uh, we can't survive getting crushed by an elevator, but I guess we're hardy otherwise. Uh, quite robust. So they'll thrive in the long run. We'll cautious to the pools if you visit 2A to meet them. And subterranean species in uh, Blah. Thanks to travel across the universe, I imagine she would have enjoyed those life forms. <laughs> it's watching them once during a rest and the hours escape from me. They're fascinating. I wonder what their fourth eye does. That's right. Like, we, we did have four eyes, didn't we? I'm not talking about glasses either. Which I can relate. Uh, interesting, though. Very, very interesting. Okay. Okay, so we could get up and out of here here if we wanted to. That's going to lead us back in. Where were we intending to go? It was kind of deeper. Not there. That's kind of, was that the flute or something? No, we want the harmonica. There. Deep, deep down there. So maybe on the opposite pole of the planet, honestly. Uh, which would be... Well, not necessarily North Pole, but... Slightly more down. <clears throat> oh, I see. This was kind of where I was looking, though. Alright, will this eventually... Last me up, right? Oh, that one There we go. That's what I was looking for. Whee! Uh, maybe? Actually? Uh, where am I? <laughs> there we go. Okay, this is good. Alright, perfect. Exactly, sort of as intended. Down that away, roughly. Okay, where does this pop me up, though? To above the falls, I guess? Yeah, okay. No, we don't need that. Don't need that just yet. Let's see where this bridge across leads. And then, it's getting kind of late, so we might wrap it here for the day. But this is fun! I, I like this kind of, like, 
very open-ended exploration. I, could, I, I was due for one of these, I think. I'm gonna say 2B. All right, very good. Open. Exciting, discovering exciting new ways to die at every turn. Time loops and shit. Yeah. Okay, I wonder if, uh, what's his name, Feldspar is down here. Somewhere in these caves, right? Yeah, it seems like he is. Maybe we can find him real quick. Let's kind of have a, let's have a look around. Very carefully. Oh, it's one of those gravity well things. I wonder what that leads to. It's like he's down at the center here. Ooh, I see. Well, I don't know if I want to get into that thing just yet. I want to see if there's a solid surface down here. Yep, okay. Cool. Probably not down there, though. That looks to be pretty deep. Oh, it might also be water. <laughs> eh. There we go. Well, I mean, we've got an oxygen tank, right? We took the... Took the suit from the ship for, for a reason, right? For an important reason. Hmm, there we go. I don't want to go to Esker here, I want to go to... Oh, shit's blocked. Oh. other tunnels. No, nope, not that one. Oh, don't, don't get caught in that one. Alright, uh, how about that one there? Uh, that one looks blocked too. This one, that's also blocked. Checked all four of those, huh? Do I want to go in this thing, maybe? Because that would get us out of here. So while we're here, check the other tunnels and see if there's anything. Uh, it's pretty empty. Pretty empty and or blocked up. I don't want to go all the way the fuck back up. Nope, that's all right. Uh, okay, well, let's see where this takes us, I guess. Whee! Oh, phone up. Uh, all right here. Well, that's cool too. Doesn't go all the way up and out, though, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay. Ooh, oh, new stuff. Right, because they had a mining operation here, that was the deal. I'm amazed by how much ore the Ash Twin project requires. Since the ore, the remaining towers being built on Ash Twin, the completed towers I've seen are quite large. Really, for those towers, it's all being taken from Ash Twin. The ore we're mining here will be used as, to craft an immensely thick protective shell. It will physically seal off the chamber inside Ash Twin's core. Hmm. We've prior clan's decision to use timber hearts ore only for constructing the shell. If eventually luck on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metallurgy, confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. Well, isn't that nice? 
They're sealing off all entrances. I hope they've planned accordingly. Uh, get out. Psychad, get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Okay, so puns cross species, it seems. Awesome. I'm kind of disappointed, <laughs> but not really. I'm not surprised either. Uh, but it does seem like that was one of the, the, the scroll reedy wall things, right? So I'm surprised there wasn't a, a second scroll thing nearby that we could use on there. To learn more, you know? Unless there is one just very slightly nearby here. Under a table, perhaps? No. Ooh. Projection stone. Uh. Uh. Ah, here. Ooh. Whoa, jeez. Whoa, whoa, okay. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, mm. Oh. Ash Twin, you say, huh? Okay. That would be... Uh, where was that? Where was that pair of whatever doofuses here? There we go. This one over here. So maybe that's what that's... That's what that's... What, what would be at the center of the Ash Twin. That's kind of wild. Okay. Uh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay, well, very good. We will just leave that on one of the tables. Maybe right there. Are there other stones around here? Oh, wait. Hold up. Another thing here. Eh? Oh. Latest shipment. This door should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin Projects. Exciting news, extra set of eyes. Be delighted to help. Here we could. The more eyes, the better. As a small spar and opening the shell could lead to disaster. Well, we're well acquainted with disaster, aren't we? Under we finish the shell, it seals out the central chamber and shows there are no longer any physical entrances. Checking the interior and then the exterior for cracks. Hmm. Okie dokie. Well, that's good to know. Um. That might be something to check out at a later date. Hmm. Oh, very interesting. Okay. Well, this might not be where the harmonica thing is coming from, but we have definitely learned a thing. Definitely learned several things. Okay. Um, is there another path off of here somewhere? Whilst we're kind of sticking close to home here. Oh no, right, let's just back down in the water, which... I don't think any of these paths were open. It was just mining shit, right? So, yeah, okay. I think we're done here for the moment. Alright, up and out, sort of. Uh,. Right there, it's fine. Thank you. Okay, let's get to a, a reasonable stopping point where I'll be reasonably sure to remember what it is I'm on my way to do for next time. So I imagine we will probably not get much else done on this particular loop. Besides maybe a quick walkabout. Definitely didn't come up here through the path. 
Or maybe we did. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Hmm, there's another path to the outside here. Or was this the door we opened to get up in here? Ah, right, it's the bridge. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, but kind of the... Oh, right, because the guys are just like, wait a minute, why is that waterfall flowing up? Uh, okay. It's way the fuck down there, but I don't know that I can... Well, let's take a look. Whee! Well, oh, ouch. <laughs> All right, this is the bit I kind of already explored. All right, up we go. Oh, and the sun's about to do an explode anyway, so... Be hard capped here no matter what. Okay, uh... Oh, ship's all the way over there. May as well just enjoy a good explode. Whilst it's gonna do its thing, I guess. Um, here. Oh, wait. I'm kind of interested in launching this thing into the sun, just for grins. Let's see if we can catch its last moments here. Let's see if it's got the same autopilot that I do. <laughs> that might have been too high an arc. Into the sun, please! There we go. That's better, I think. That's too shallow. Oh, can only angle this up so high. There we go. I guess maybe that's just going into orbit, which is less exciting, but also fun. Oh, wait, is that, uh... Oh, yeah, I think the interloper going into the sun is going to be the last bit, isn't it? Is that the thing that causes it to go Nova here? More or less. That might be a good way to time it out, though. Okay. Let's see what else we can do in the last few minutes. If there's anything else of, of value. Oh, I guess we're going down this way. <laughs> Whee! music is starting to creep in. Probably means we're we're dead shortly. Oh, ghost matter too, right. Uh, uh, how do we do this again? We do that, and we do bonk. There it is. And we get nice and close, but don't touch it. Touching it's bad for your health. Yeah, okay. Is there even more here? Some more ghost matter here. Oh, careful. Okay, it's kind of under the thing there. Oh, it's 
kind of tapered off. Oh yeah, I think here comes the shockwave. I hear it, sort of. And now everything's gone dark. Oh yeah, there we go. As it implodes on itself, and now it does the explode, right? Sure, this time we'll be fine, right? Oh, oh no. Roll, roll. <laughs> ah, what an interesting way to do a loop, though. That's fun. But okay, I got to see what appeared to be the interior of the ash thing. So that's something to check out, maybe near the end of another loop. Or find some way to stop it dropping sand on the Ember Twin and fully explore that area. Or head to one of the other planets. Lots of stuff to do yet. Lots of stuff to do. Let's, um... Let's go check out the ship's log. We'll see what it filled in for us. And then we'll call it a night. And pick this up next time. Alright. What did our immune to time ship's log uh, pick up for us here? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, only two things, huh? Uh, my door from blah blah blah. The shell's finished. They check to make sure. Oops, read the rest of it. Uh, so there's a species of forest, semi aquatic life forms and waterways near the mine. I think that's us. That's what we evolved into. Or evolved from, rather. Uh, this is physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. And that's all we know. Yeah. This is the first session, yes. Uh, Big, so we'll be coming back to this come Wednesday for sure. Um, plenty to do, as it appears. Plenty of plants to visit. Um, you know, let's, oops, not ship's lock. Let's look at the map. Can we look at a map? Where's our map? There we go. Let's see. Plenty of stuff to do. My goodness. Um, besides flying into the sun again, we could try to intercept. This mofo, I guess. Maybe. Um, we could try heading out to Dark Bramble, um, Giant Steep, or a couple of its moons and or debris fields. It's like a satellite around that one, too. Okay. Uh, Brittle Hollow is pretty nearby. We could fly ourselves into the lava on Hollow's Lantern. That would be fun. Uh... Brittle Hollow, maybe. I think that's where one of the signals is coming from as well. So that'd be a good explore. Uh, maybe one day revisit uh, the Ash Twin. We've got this bright little kind of dwarf star out here with another what appears to be landable thing. Oh, this might be the, the white thing they were talking about earlier, too. Uh, the White Hole Project, or whatever the fuck it was. That might be an interesting explore. Uh, but for now, yeah, I guess we're we're good. Um, hold up. <laughs> Wait just a tick. Uh, oh, oh shit. I hit reset loop something something. I don't know if that's what I wanted to do. But alright. Uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, yeah, thanks. Okay, good. It actually saved my thing this time. That's good, that's good, that's good. Alright, uh, that'll do it for tonight. Uh, we'll pick this up next time on Wednesday, 7pm CDT. Uh, more Otter Wilds. This was a, a fun little adventure, just getting started out, learning learning a few things here. Um, then Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. CDT, it'll be Shmup Book Club. We'll have new Shmup for a month of May, um, as well as our two quarterlies, which are still going. That's Super Hydra and Radiant Silver Gun. Friday, Saturday, we're off, and then Sunday, 7 p.m. CDT, it'll be Long Play. We're done with Cactus for a bit, uh, so we'll pick up something new-ish to go back to. I'm actually kind of leaning... Uh, towards Noita, since there was a, a, a big new update released pretty recently that I'd like to check out as well. Um, and then next Monday, 7 p.m. CDT, almost certainly coming back to Outer Wilds again. I doubt we're going to finish it on Wednesday. There's you know, There seems like there's way too much for just two nights of work here. Um, so we can look forward to more of that next week. All right, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.